Hello everyone. So for today, I thought we could work on this. I don't know when I made this or anything. I did put the three neutral looking ish journaling cards in it just because I thought that would be a good idea. But let's get to decorating it, right? I'm just trying to think how I want to go about decorating it though. I think this one we may just wait on a different video to do. I know that seems strange, but again, I just, I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. And I want to have a plan, a little bit of a plan for you guys. Now these would fit perfectly on a page. I think, just give me one moment. I'm going to grab a random sheet of paper here throw it in half and see if this one is too big or not. Yeah, it is a little big, but we can fix that issue. This one fits it pretty well perfectly. So with this one being an issue, I see this bend and everything with it. So we're going to take it and go a little under five here. So four and three fourths and cut that. So now it is pretty well fit to be used for a journal page. Now I have this sticker sitting here and I've been wanting to use it and not sure how and everything, thinking that would work rather well to use it with. And I, this one, again, I'm just cutting off this edge here. Now I have choices here on how I want to decorate this portion of it. I'm thinking something like this down the edge would be kind of fun. So I think that's what I'm going to do, except I'm going to have to cut it off because otherwise it's going to be too long. There. All right. And this is so then we know where our edge is. Because this is the part that's cut open so we want this cut open part to be seeable all right and then we have this big sticker here and I'm just looking what is this yeah we don't want to hear about patience I don't think, but we do have this beautiful picture here. And we have this frame. So in all reality, you just decide where you want it to be framed and that's what you do, you frame it.
yes, you can have your candy price. <laughs> My daughter seems to not realize I was on a video, which happens more often than not, but that's okay. I don't blame my kids when it comes down to that. I just do what I can do. They're not going to know every time I'm making a video. It's just a part of life. So, also, I've recently noticed when I put videos up on Facebook groups, this has been happening quite often lately where there are men who have been kind of like stalking my videos and making comments, let's just be friends, you should friend me and everything. And it's like, to me... They're not talking about the work or my videos at all. They're just asking to be friends, and it sounds kind of inappropriate. I apologize if any of you have received messages from these guys. I don't know. No one's mentioned anything of that. But, again, I just I want you to be aware. Don't give these people the time of day. <laughs> just don't I don't know why they are messaging me or anything like that they're just acting creepy and I personally don't like creepiness so I just again if you guys ever have somebody from my videos other than me trying to contact you it ain't me I want you to be aware of that. I just, I don't know if these people are scammers or what, but I assume so. And I want to make you aware that there are scammers out there. I am not a scammer though. So again, if you want to join my group, you can join my group. The description is down below. I will start making new videos for my, um, whatchamacallit. I will be making new videos for Anchor soon. I'm just, I'm waiting until the holiday season is done, to be honest. It, the holiday season gets busy and I get a little bit more overwhelmed around this season so I'm just saying if you don't hear from me that might be why but here we go I think this one's done I don't want to add anything more or anything like that and I think this little journaling card will fit right in there which is amazing and what I'll do when I go to glue this down I may go off and only glue these three corners down I don't know again that's something I decide when I make the journals I might glue the whole thing down not too sure but There we go. We got that one done. Now we have this one. And this one we did cut off a portion of it due to the size. And I just, I really like this little purple piece here. But I have a plan for this one that, or this journal card for a purple journal. So I'm not going to worry about that as much. Now I'm just doing a quick look through at different pieces I have in my journal stuff here. And I have these little notebook things sitting in here. 
I really like this piece and I'm wondering if it fit right in or not but oh my goodness I really like it <laughs> so I'm thinking this journal or pocket type thing might fit that no I don't like that all right it was an idea We have this yellowish one with green on it. Ooh, I like that. It's like right into it. But it could also just poke out. I like that idea. All right. So we found our piece for on top. I'm just going to grab a piece here and there and we're going to work with what we have. I love working with what I have. Honestly, I feel like doing this is just making me feel better. Like <laughs> after spending a whole week not being able to make anything, this definitely is bringing out the, oh my goodness, I can do stuff <laughs> again aspect. I know it seems strange. Why are you doing it this way? Why not? just creates more definition here. Okay. <coughs> now let's see if I have a big enough green because these are very small stickers. Very, very tiny compared to our piece here. So I'm just, again, I'm looking through my lovely little collection of washi tapes here and I'm starting to think my washi tapes are just a little too small for what I want because I mean even my big ones seem a little small but I really like this one and I think it goes with what's going on with that other piece so I'm just thinking set that on there and I'm going to put a label make a big old label for that spot ooh what if I use more of this music paper over top of it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sometimes adding stuff as simple as music paper gives it this look like oh wait it just gives it that added definition to it 
which I like. Again, just added definition to it, which is definitely, you wouldn't have seen the sunflower as much if I would have used something other than that. And again, I think the sunflower goes well with this. Now, I wonder if I have any butterflies somewhere here. I swear I have butterflies. Somewhere around here, I've got to have a butterfly or something. I know that seems strange. Why are you digging for butterflies if you don't even know if you have one? I know I have one, I just didn't know where. My butterflies were. And again, this is washy again, but this one I want melded in. I don't necessarily want it. not so there we go got that going now yeah I kind of like that piece there just trying to see if there's another piece that could no I like this piece <laughs> I went to look for another one and it's like nope that ain't it definitely not Yeah, that's gorgeous. And sometimes that's the process. You just got to find what looks good to you. And again, I wanted to bring that yellow and green yet again into this with the blue. I love it. Absolutely love it. So we got that going. Now this piece, I'm happy the way it is. I know some people are like, well, why don't you add some more decoration to it and this and that. I like it Mod Podge like this. I think it's rather pretty. And I like the butterflies in it and the flower, the daffodils, yellow daffodils on it. I'm not going to change it. And it brings out, again, that yellow and greenish color with this blue. I just, I think it's gorgeous. So we got two of these done. I will do that third envelope piece when I feel like I have some inspiration for it. And that's sometimes how it is. You don't feel inspired to use it why again right now I feel like I could do a few things with it but I don't know if I want to or not and until I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this I kind of don't want to mess with it so I might just do it put it in the to-do box and later on when I have a video to make and I'm sure what I'm going to do with it, that's when I'm going to use it. I feel inspired to use it. So, moral of the story is sometimes it ain't a mojo thing. It's just that particular piece. You know you want to do something with it. You're just not sure what to do with it yet. 
and some that's the point of having a to-do box sometimes again i found these envelopes while searching for envelopes for a different it, video and it just so happened that i happened upon these ones so i decided okay well let's do something with these i see these as side pockets and i could have also done like the when you try to fill a whole page type idea you know i could have added pockets onto this one or this one and i chose not to just because i wanted to decorate them and that's what i felt like doing so again you can change your mind i could decide i don't like this and just tear this piece completely off and restart it that is not a problem it is your work Sometimes, too, when you have work that you decide later on you don't really care for or something else like that, something as simple as keeping gesso on your desk can change the whole story. That is clear gesso, but you can use white gesso. And, again, you can change your story on how you want it to look. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night. Bye.